politics is very competitive. Statistics really? and yes. <laughs> and, and, and I'm just wondering, I mean, what would be your top two things that you see needs to be done to be more collaborative, more cooperative? Because Democrats are going to win, yeah. Republicans are going to win, but we still have to be collaborative, and it just yeah. feels so competitive. Uh, you know, there are two things, one of which is actually underway. Um, I had a really interesting experience with uh, Boehner in March of 2010. I'm sitting at home in Austin, and I get this phone call on a Saturday afternoon about 12, 12.30. They said, is there any way you could, wh where are you? I said, I'm in Austin. They said, can you get to Dallas by 5? Uh, I said, yeah, I can go out to the airport and get on a Southwest flight. Why? They said, Boehner is in Dallas for a fundraiser tomorrow, and there's nobody to have dinner with him. <laughs> this was the, turned out this was the 65th birthday of this gigantic Texas oilman in Dallas who was having the complete blowout at his ranch with the Eagles performing and Billy Joel and anybody who was anybody in Dallas is out at his ranch. And Boehner has arrived and he's going to be arriving there and he has nobody to have dinner with. So I go to the airport, I get on a plane, fly up there. In the meantime, they've located Matt Rose, the head of uh, Burlington Northern Resources over in Fort Worth, and his wife come over and the three of us have dinner with Boehner in a little steakhouse near the airport. Boehner's stepping out every 10 minutes to have a smoky treat and a uh, glass of red wine. And Matt Rose is a really earnest guy, and so we're having a conversation. Eventually, Matt says to Boehner, I don't know where he says, what's wrong with the House? I mean, what is wrong with Congress? Why is it so dysfunctional? And Boehner turns philosophical. And I mean, it was a really incredibly revealing answer. He said, the problem is the House of Representatives, only five people matter. Speaker, majority leader, Majority Whip, Chairman of the Rules Committee, and Chairman of the Subject Matter Committee, and nobody else matters. He said it happened under Democrats and it's happened under Republicans, and it's not the way the House is supposed to operate. This is not how, for 200 years, the Constitution and precedent have said the House should operate. The House should operate by having bills start at the subcommittee level and work their way up and have to go through all of that and hearings and work and negotiations and people talking to each other and then brought to the floor and voted upon and considered and sometimes rejected. I mean, he said the, the, it shouldn't find people sitting in the back room shouldn't say, well, we're going to do a health care bill and we'll write it and we've got to pass the bill so we know what's in it. And he said the byproduct of doing it the way that we're doing is, is that we become intensely partisan and there's no conversation at the subcommittee or committee level, and these people don't feel like they have to work with each other. All they got to do is keep their respective camp in line, and that's it. And, and I thought it was really revealing because Boehner is operating that way. I mean, he's not going to write the immigration bill. He's saying to the Judiciary Committee and the Commerce Committee, you guys go write it. And, you know, it, it took us 20 years to get, or 30 years to get into this pattern. It's going to take us time to get out of the pattern, but I think it's one of the two things that needs to happen. The other thing that needs to happen is that we need to have a president who will sit down and talk with members of Congress on both sides of the aisle on a regular, routine basis.